it's a gear tester here and you are looking at what is in my opinion the ultimate holster for the Ruger 2245 family of pistols. This is a holster that's manufactured by Blade Techs. Blade Tech. It is in essence just a folded and molded piece of Kydex with one of Blade Tech's tech locks here on the back which allows you to adjust the different belt links and gives you what I feel is an excellent way of attaching this holster to your belt. Works very well. This holster uh, I've been using for over five months and I've been very happy with the fit, function, and form of this excellent holster. I've had a number of other uh, Blade Tech products of their holsters uh, and uh, have been very happy with those as well. For me, this holster uh, solves a problem that I've always had with the Ruger 2245 fa family of pistols, a problem that I've always had with the Ruger Mark III family of pistols. And that is the fact that I have not liked the holsters out there for this family of excellent, accurate, and reliable pistols. This here is a Ruger 2245 light, excellent pistol the lightest uh, with the longest barrel uh, compared to the weight of the gun that I believe is currently in production by Ruger. An excellent pistol. This is the kind of gold or uh, silver barrel. And the 2245 light, they are now making it in a black barrel, which I personally find more aesthetically pleasing than this gold barrel. But it is an excellent pistol, and this holster, uh, the introduction of this holster, and my use of it uh, has really made me much feel more positively towards the 2245 family of pistols. I, I love the 2245 family of pistols. I love the Mark III family of pistols. I've shot thousands and thousands of rounds. I've owned two uh, Mark III's and one uh, multiple times because my friends and I were buying and selling it back and forth a couple times. And then I've owned two uh, 2245 lights counting this one here that you see in front of you or two 2245s, one that was a standard version and one uh, that's like this, of course, because this is the pistol. I did a review uh, months and months and months ago on a holster that was for the, that fit both the family of pistols, the 2245 family of pistols and the Mark III family of pistols. That was the Black Max HMK Kydex holster. That review is still up, but I feel that that is a much inferior holster when you compare it to this excellent holster by Blade Tech which is really, really high quality. This is the four inch version, okay? You can see there, they also make a six inch version, all right? Now, just a word of warning, this, this holster will not fit your Mark III family of pistols, okay? That's because the grip down here is completely different on the Mark III family of pistols. So it won't fit a Mark III, the grip angle is also different, but it won't fit a Mark III pistol. This will only fit a 2245 pistol. The uppers are the same. The grip is going to be different. The 2245s have a polymer grip here. Okay, so it won't fit the Mark III family of pistols. It also, without uh, some, some simple modifications that you can do with just a candle or a heat gun, uh, it will not fit your 2245 light pistol. I didn't know that when I purchased it. This holster, as it comes from Blade Tech currently, only fits the Ruger 2245 family of pistols that are standard, okay? And the reason for that is on the 2245 standard uh, barrels, they're neck down right about here. They get thinner. And this holster was originally uh, formed that way to take the standard holsters. I just heated it up here and here and uh, got the Kydex warm and ran the holster, uh, the pistol in and out of the holster a couple times and it fit very nicely. In the process, I accidentally, I shouldn't have heated up the trigger guard because the trigger guard would have been exactly the same. So I had to modify that a little bit and push in here and allow the Kydex to cool down. And so now I have good retention on this holster, but it won't without those little additions that the widening here of the holster, it won't fit a 2245 light. I have not seen uh, the holster in any way rub the finish off, and I have holstered and reholstered this gun a lot of times. There's been no rubbing off. There's a little bit of Kydex that sometimes gets, uh, or the plastic Kydex, okay? Plastic and Kydex are basically the same kind of thing. Uh, there may be some minor differences. That gets kind of scraped off here, and you can just rub that off. It's not a problem, but I was worried about the finish on the stainless steel barrel on the uh, 2245 light. Not a problem at all. In and out hundreds of times. 
Uh, so just be just be aware that this is not just going to fit your Mark III family of pistols, not at all, and it will not fit the 2245 light pistols if you don't do the modification. I also feel that this holster will be probably less satisfactory if you don't have the bull barreled version. So if you just have a standard kind of a thin barrel instead of the bull barrel, I don't think the 2245 holster from Blade Tech will work as well. Okay, you've got the tech lock on the back there. And I've been actually very, very impressed with it. One of the things that I like about this holster over the Black Max holster, which is really the only other Kydex slash plastic production holster out there. There are lots of people that can find pictures of 2245 and Mark III Kydex holsters, but you can't just log online and buy one. And so for me, or, or if you do, you have to wait months and months for the, for the individual vendor. Uh, the person who's making these in their garage or basement. This is actually a production holster by Blade Tech. You can order one today if they're in stock. You'll get it, all right? And that's what I really value about this. I feel this holster is better than the Black Max uh, HMK holster, which I got rid of, by the way, for a couple reasons. One, the holster system allows you to have different belt links. You can, okay, you can pull these little portions out, push them out right there, and then you can expand them for what looks like probably two and a half inch belt, okay, down to uh, a much smaller length of belt. You can right there, you can tension those down either way so the holster rides up, or the holster ride down a little bit, and then it locks very securely and intentionally into there so it's not coming off. I don't put it on and off that way, I just leave it the way I want and slide my belt through it. I find that's the easiest way to, to attach the holster. You can adjust it slightly when you do the, the modifications. I did uh, push that out to take the safety the firearm okay as you modify it for the 2245 light pistol um, you may have to do that i did notice that i hurt it a little bit but um, if you're just purchasing it for a standard 2245 and you're not going to mess with it uh, it does allow cant so you can do a forward cant okay a little bit forward cant on your belt or a little backward cant i fixed that and got it to work for me after i warmed the kydex be very careful as you warm that kydex and over warm it to not over uh, shift or hurt the kydex. Again, a candle, you're just gonna play it over the flame of a candle, a heat gun works best for like embossing, but you can do that very easily. I've been very happy with the Ruger 2245 holster. There is no rattle and no shake, okay, which is the case with the uh, H, uh, which the uh, Black Max HMK, there's just like there is not there. The, the way I modified mine, there is a little bit of movement there. You can see that movement, but it is very uh, hard to withdraw the holster. It's not, not in a bad way, but it has lots of great retention. If you didn't do that modification, I'm sure it would snap in perfectly and snap out, but that's how I modified it to fit the 2245 light. I wish that Blade Tech produced this holster. Uh, the, the, the Tech Lock is fine, not a problem, not a bad uh, piece of, of gear, but I would prefer the holster to work like this. This is for a Glock 19 holster made by Blade Tech. Okay, I would prefer this. I feel that it distributes the weight of the pistol better and has less shifting movement. This gun does not shift around a lot. There is not a lot of movement. It is a very light pistol, around 24 ounces, I think, but it would be better, in my personal opinion, if the holster, if you had some options like this rather than just this. And currently, that is what's going on. You do have some tensioning screws, so you can choose the tension there. You can push it down a little bit, or you can lighten the tension up and find the exact amount of tension you want on this holster. For me, uh, I look at the 2245 family of pistols as uh, range guns, yes, certainly as target guns, yes, but I really think they shine as a pistol that you can take with you on hikes and a training pistol, and having a holster like this allows me to train very similarly uh, to my other pistols using uh, Blade Tech's excellent products and it also means that I can carry this very easily and deploy it quickly on maybe a hike or a backpack trip or maybe just doing some plinking and some uh, varmint hunting. I think the Ruger 2245, both the, the light versions and the standard versions are excellent pistols and I think that the Blade Tech 2245 holster is the ultimate holster as of 2013 that's in production for these excellent pistols. I definitely, definitely would recommend it to you as a great holster option, probably the best holster option out there for your Ruger 2245 family of pistols. Thank you so much for your views and your subscriptions. If you like this video, I have lots of others like it. 
Um, you can go to my channel page. I would really appreciate it if you would like this video and if you would subscribe to my channel. My goal is to produce more quality video reviews of shooting, camping, and survival gear. Thanks so much. This is the Gear Tester signing off.